What's up, Zombie Slayers? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. And we are on Horde Night, and we need to start preparing. Um, well, we've been preparing for a while, but we need to prepare more. Number one, get your shades on, Cage. Okay? And once my shades are on, then I have 10 out of 10. Dead Eye is, is 5 out of 5. Penetrator is looking good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, and I have 755 rounds of armor piercing now 755 rounds doesn't seem like a lot and it's kind of not but this is not like an automatic gun like 755 rounds with this gun means a lot more than 755 rounds with a lot of other guns okay so it's pretty decent also i really haven't done any real ammo production yet i mean i've done a little bit here and there but not a lot so all right so that looks pretty good right there and how about the one on the bottom um yep yeah, you're looking okay and you, my friend, have nothing. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. Lock. Um, you're looking good there. Man, I really don't have a lot of this ammo either. Like, this, uh, these dart ammo is just not enough. I gotta... Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought I had some more in here. I wasn't sure, though. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put a lot of this away. That's kind of like backup stuff in case, like, you know, stuff goes wrong. So let's come down to the far end here and... Oh, I was told in the comment section, you can daisy chain these pressure plates. So I could put like three pressure plates in a row, run the power to the first one. No, I'd have to run the power to the far one. No, run the power to the first one. Um, yeah, but then that's just, isn't that only one? If you daisy chain like three pressure plates in a row, they only activate the first one, right? So like if they activate the first one, it'll activate all three. And I'm not really sure how that works. I'm going to just stick with one pressure plate for now. And kind of like, you know, figure out what's going on. Because if you have a daisy chain, and let's say, we have two, let's say we have two of these, okay? This one's powered and it's daisy chained to set this one off. That one sets off that. No, yeah, that should, no, that should work. No, that should work. Let's say I have three pressure plates and the power's coming into the first one. Then the first one's connected to the second one. The second one's connected to the third one. Now, if they, if they activate this one, the third one's going to be connected to the dart trap anyway. Yeah, that, no, that'll work. Because the third one's connected to the dart trap. They set off the third one, dart trap's going off. They set off the second one, that sets off the, the, the third one, which sets off the dart trap, and the same thing with the first one. Is that Do I have that right? Probably do. Hopefully, we'll see. All right. Ammo. Ammo. Okay. These things are definitely going to run out of ammo, but, you know, we'll just we'll make more. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Now, is there anything here I am f missing? Boy, I hope not. Uh, I really hope not, because um, I'm kind of just going to leave this the way it is. And do we have time to set something up on the other side? Uh, did I bring any fences with me? Yes, I did. All right. Yeah, we got some time. We got a little bit of time to do this. So we'll do that. And then we're going to go right here. Nope, that's the wrong spot. Right here is where I was talking about. All right, we're going to put... Nope, not like that. Right there. And then right there. And I'm probably going to take out these little jumpy parts. I don't know. Probably. All right. That looks good. And then we will hook those up. So that one's got to come over to here. Whoa. It's just so much easier to hit them when they're not jumping up, around, jumping around. So there we go. Yeah, let's just take these out now. Yeah, because, like, I mean, they're good because they don't... Like, take any power, but the thing is, I've got the power. I've got the setup. Let's just use it, right? Now we just gotta figure out how this is gonna get power from the inside. Uh, super water. Alright, so from the inside, we'll grab this. And there's no way I'm gonna be able to get over there. Well, actually, I am, because it's I can see it. It doesn't have a plate in front of it. Alright, there you go. Yeah, the fact that it doesn't have a plate in front of it really uh, helps. Maybe I'll leave it out, and we'll see. Maybe maybe the plate won't... Maybe we don't need plates in front of these. I don't know. All right, the next thing I would like to do is come up here. Well, let's double-check that just to make sure it's, it's going to work. Yep, looking good. All right, so let's come up here, and let's feed these bad mamma jammas. Two, two should be good. Alright. 
and then two stacks for me. Now these are to keep the vultures out of here. Uh, so people said, well, what happens when you walk over here to repair these? How are you going to deal with the vultures? Well, if the shotgun turrets are doing their job, the vultures really shouldn't be a problem. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. So we'll see. We will see. And I should be able to repair these from up here. Hopefully the zombies still see that as a walkway. I have no idea. We're going to have to wait and see. Um, let's go ahead and turn this on and make sure those shotgun turrets are good. All right. You are looking good. Uh, powered, powered, looking up in the air. I mean, I, I think we're, I think we're okay. <laughs> Famous last words. Uh, let's go ahead and feed this thing some, there we go. And this is good. And this is good. And you know what? I think I'm just going to hang out for the rest of the horde day. I don't like doing things last minute. I don't even know what I would do last minute. Oh, people want me to make flooring down here. I guess I can make some floors. Uh, it's, it just feels like a waste of resources, but let's see if we can make some floor. No, we don't want to make floor yet because I'd have to upgrade it and then it would be 1,500 hit points. Probably would not be a problem, but still, I don't want to waste resources on that. But yeah, I definitely want a floor down there to kind of solidify the setup. Now you guys let me know in the comments right now before I pause the video. Let me know now. Don't let me know after the Horde Night because I'll know if you're cheating. But... Here's the question. What am I forgetting here? What am I missing? What's going to be my downfall? All right. In between this cut and last, I did realize something I was missing. I was missing repair stuff. Um, electrical parts, iron, steel, and mechanical parts. I'm pretty sure I need all four, although I could be wrong about that, but I don't think I am. All right. Let's go ahead and turn this on for some lights. I also turned the lights off so I could start relying on personal lights because I think it's more spooky. Um, but I also at the same time do not like making dark videos. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, is, do I like these? Yeah, I do. Oh, I shouldn't be upgrading those. I'm going to need that metal. I possibly might need that metal for repairs. All right, fair enough. Let's go ahead and take some iron and scrap some of that for some more metal. And we'll see how things go. Yeah. Damn it. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do this. All right. That's good. That's good. 20 in-game minutes and we will be good to go man i know i'm gonna fall off trying to repair this stuff here because i'm gonna be all panicky i'm gonna be all panicky um oh, i probably should have put a um a hatch up there and i'm not gonna bother putting one up now well, yeah let's let's go ahead and do it why not Don't even take that much. Come on. Come on, brah. Hurry up with that freaking hatch. Okay, we're going to need that there. Then we're going to need one of these. Put that down there. Make this a block. Okay. Come on, damn it. Get up the freaking ladder. Dumbass. All right. And that goes like that. Okay, beautiful. I won't... I won't make any stronger. Should be pretty good, honestly. I just don't want to... Who knows? Maybe they puke down and hit the generator. Some lucky puke bank shot or something. <laughs> I don't know. Hawkeye. Hawkeye zombie vulture. Who knows? You know? All right, guys. This is a sit-up-in-the-chair situation. Game stage is 124. And uh, let's do this. Okay. Now, I know what you're thinking. One platform, like, whoa, that's that doesn't cover the whole thing. There's probably going to be always zombies running over that platform, to be honest. Okay. Here they come. She did. Where's everybody else? Come on, guys. This is weird. Why are they not going over this platform? I guess they're just taking some time. They're taking their time. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, don't reload after one shot, Cage. Come on. No, seriously, where the hell are they all? Hmm. It's making me a little nervous. I, I don't. Do I have the, um, the. Ah, crap. I don't have the, uh, irradiated mod in this thing. But I probably have it in here. Modify, take that out. We won't be doing a lot of melee tonight. Uh, take this out, put that in. 
Okay. Alright, much better. Okay, line him up. Knock him down. This is the ultimate line him up, knock him down situation. Okay. Yeah, looking good so far. Where is everybody? I'm kind of confused on where the rest of the horde is. Man, I'm just banging them out. And I'm trying my best not to hit my dark traps. Get out of here. Okay. Go up here and see if they still look at this as a as a path. Yeah, it looks like it looks like it counts as a path. Damn, they're not lined up. Oh, they're kind of lined up. Yep, it still works as a path. Cool. Not getting any vultures tonight, of course. Of course, the night I set up for vultures, I'm not going to get any vultures because that's just the way it goes. Wow. This is pretty devastating, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> wow. This is just brutal. Oh, here they come. Now they're coming out in force. Line up me. Line them up. Knock them down. You know it's funny, the dart trap's hitting this thing and it's not even damaging it. Yeah, this is pretty devastating. Oh, I got a skill point. I need three more skill points uh, to get my last point in strength. I know it's not the last point, but since I have the cigar, it will be the last point I'll have to buy. Well, let's um, let's see if we can go repair, because uh, that should be pretty interesting. Okay. Uh, hmm. Crap. All right. So we still got some more work to do up here. Um, I'm I'm surprised I can't repair. Like, I, I tested this. Oh, I can repair that one. Yeah, we're going to have to do something about those. Uh... Yeah, I don't know why I can't repair that one. I guess I just got to get a little closer. I don't know, dude. I feel like I should be close enough. Uh, let's get the hell off this roof. <laughs> They're not even broken yet. Like, not really even close. Oh, here we go. Our first feral. Or not feral, but well, they used to be called ferals. I think I'm too far away for this thing to really be helpful. Whites, that's what they're called, whites. Those guys used to be the big, the big monsters on the block, and they, they kind of still are. Yeah, once I'm down here, the spider zombies can't do sweet fuck off. Jeez, if I knew that we were gonna be able to get past those electric fence, I would have put more I would have put more ammo in the dart traps at the end. That thing's gonna be out soon. Man, this is brutal. I remember Amaranth telling me about this build and this like, you know, the whole penetrator thing, and I was like, yeah, that sounds really cool. But you'd never really quite understand until you've done it yourself. You know what's funny? I'll bet you the zombies are keeping me from hitting my own dart traps on the other end.
Oh boy. Here we go. Oh, here we go. I don't have a way up there either. Son of a B. Well, I'm going to go this way. Damn it! Okay. Alright, well... Now it's on like Donkey Kong. Okay, so let's go this way. And through here. Ow. Okay, and then we break those off. Woo! <laughs> you know, I knew when I was up there at Mess Around, I was like, eh, there's a good chance I'm getting knocked off here. And then they started knocking me off. So that was fun. So do you see what's going on here, though? Why this is so over unbelievably overpowered? Do you, do you see? Uh, let me know in the comments right now before I say what's going on that's making this so powerful. Three, two, one. It's the electric fencing and this thing. You see, every time, like... See, the thing is, this, like, sledge, sledge turret, sledge turret, right? It has a delay, right? But the thing is, every time it knocks someone off, the electric fence stops everyone else, and it gives it time to redo the delay. That's why nothing's getting through, even when I'm not shooting. I mean, I'm going to start shooting again, but that's, that's what the deal is. The, the, the electric fence is stopping, is stopping what's going on, giving the sledge turret, um, sledge turret, uh, a chance to, you know, knock them off again. Unbelievably powerful. I mean, that's just insane. Whoa. Oh, that was my own hand. <laughs> I saw my own hand reloading, and I thought it was a zombie up here with me. So how do we make this better? Well, that right there is a problem. This thing needs to be extended, and I need to do something to make it so spider zombies can't get up there. And I also want to, like, start making multiple... Multiple walkways, because again, if I get a demolisher, which I might, I might get some demolishers next sword night. And if I do, and they blow up one block, the whole thing's shut down. And I need alternates. And this is an alternate, but it's not a great alternate, at least not yet. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this out this way and make even more walkways. There you go. Dude, the freaking penetrator is just unbelievable. I mean, it just decimates fools. Yeah, I'm trying to think of how I could make that spider zombie proof. I could put a roof over it. Maybe. And that might make it pretty spider zombie proof. Because then they'd have to jump up directly in a, like a spot that would be very difficult for them. I, mean, I could probably do that right now. Yeah, why not? Might as well build. Okay, so a roof over this. So this can go like this. And then we build out from here. Now let's see if they can get up here. Apparently I'm thirsty. Alright, there they are. Can you guys get up here? Well, they're jumping right through. So I guess that's pretty good, but... Yeah, that's not... No, that's not gonna work. Okay. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna deal with the... With the spider zombies there. I guess I could put... Like a little walkway, you know thingies here and that would work but then I wouldn't be able to repair alright then I'm going to be able to jump up here now I don't even know if they'll try but I can't repair either and what I could do is I could put these up here and then pick them up anytime I need to repair but then you're you know actually they'll fall too yeah, that's not going to work um, how about this 
Actually, this will probably work. Okay, let's do this. And then pick up the ones underneath. Damn it! Oh, thank you. Man, that freaking... That turret's going ham! Look at that thing. What I'm trying to do is... Like that. Maybe a little bit more... A little bit more structural integrity there. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure they can't jump up here now. But can I repair? Uh, no, I can't. Alright, I'll have to think of... Why can't I see that one? You know, I think we need to get lower. No, really, why can't I repair that one? I know I've done it before. That's weird. Alright, I'm gonna have to think about what I want to do up here. This, this whole thing right here is not gonna work. It's too high, first of all. Um, I'm gonna have to bring it down one level. You know, I think bringing it down one level will be all the, the change we'll have to make. Alright, let's finish these guys off. There you go. And it is 1.30 in the morning, so that's fun. Alright, I've got a better setup down here now. I'm gonna be a lot closer. Well, not a lot closer. I'm gonna be one block closer uh, to the electric fence. And I think I have an idea of a way to maybe keep the um, spider zombies from jumping up here. We'll have to see. I've got some I've got some ideas kicking around my brain. I'll just have to kind of wait and see which one um, is going to work. So I'm gonna break this out and I'm gonna repair those fences. Make sure I can repair them without any problems. Yep, I don't even... See, I don't want to have to duck. See, I can't repair that. What? How? Hmm. It doesn't look broken anymore, does it? I don't think I repaired these, though. I can repair that one. What about these? Hold on. I haven't repaired them. I don't think I did anyway, so I don't know how they're not broken. See, I shouldn't even have to duck anymore. Repair. Repair. Yeah, that's, that's really weird. It's almost like they repaired themselves. I don't know. Maybe I missed it. It, it was a hectic horde night. So then what I'm thinking is we bring this out like I did before. And we'll do this just to give it some structural integrity. This is just, this isn't permanent. This is just kind of like a proof of concept. Now can I repair them? Mm, doesn't seem like it. Okay. Um, all right, I'll have to, I'll have to kind of see about that. Let's go loot. I'll kind of, I'll kind of puzzle that out, how to keep the spider zombies off that. Um, yeah, now that the lights are going to be off, I should have the lights on a separate thing, a separate circuit, but that's all right. It'll be fine. And look at all this loot, dude. All right, I got my goggles on. Let's go ahead and loot it up. Oh, uh, stupid grass. Ooh, another treasure map. I like those. Another treasure map. Beautiful. It's like coordinate loot drops for the treasure maps. Yeah, this is a really, really nice setup. Demolishers are going to throw a whole wrench into the plans, but so far, it's doing okay. Uh, let's do that. Let's um, go ahead and read one of these. Uh, don't need the stone. Mm, let's go scrap that. Ah, uh, you can't scrap. You see, it won't let you scrap stuff with a mod in there, which is which is good. It's probably saved my ass quite a few times. Scrap, scrap. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Freaking sweater. Are you serious with this? Can I learn both of the treasure maps? Nicole's treasure map? If it's a different name, I should be able to learn it, right? I'm going to give it a shot. Sarah's. Yeah, boy. Two treasure maps. I love it. Oops. I think if you do that, like, quickly enough, it's like you don't have to sit through the loot thing at all. Although my, my loot timer is pretty much instant. Oh, an auger. <laughs> That's cool. Probably scrap it, but still, it's pretty cool. Leather boots, scrap. 
Um, yeah, I got that. Yeah, let's scrap that. Just to make some room. I don't want to scrap 15 doorknobs, though. Alright. Is that all the loot? I think it is. Let me give you guys a little tip on Horde Night. Don't log off until 4 a.m. Because if you log off and log back on, you will get the Horde again until 4 a.m. So, let's see how much damage I did to the to these. Ah, barely any. Barely any damage. Very cool. Well, good horde night. I just have to figure out how to keep the uh, how to keep the spider zombies off me while I'm up here. Um, I'm thinking like, all right. So you see where this you see where these wood frames are? I'm thinking instead of wood frames, I'm thinking, oh, that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. How about this? Come on. Oh, we're waiting for this. Okay, darn it. All right, hold on. Let me drop some stuff off then. And cancel that. Because that is going to take forever. Uh, scrap that. Drop whatever you can. Nothing. Okay, fair enough. Uh, stop doing that. And then scrap that. Okay, there we go. So, what I'm thinking will keep the spider zombies off me. Is... Like this. And I'll definitely be able to repair. Although, you know, if I use the ones on the middle... No, actually, I didn't really expect this to be this long. After the Horde Knight guys, I expect it to be off by now. But, you know what I'm thinking? If I can put... A wood bar in the middle... I think I could still repair and not even fall off. Alright, I can't fall off. And I'm pretty sure I could repair. Alright. Beautiful. Okay, that's the setup right there then. That's the setup right there. Iron bar. They're going to be iron eventually. Iron bars in the middle. Thing over my head. Spider zombies will not be able to jump in this. I'm 99% sure. Although, you never know. And I can't fall off. Oh, that's beautiful. Alright, cool. Love it. All right, guys, if you're never enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.